Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. I just realized my helmet is broken. Oh, that's not good. That must have just broke. Uh, that helmet gave me saturation, so I'm going to have to either go get food or find another piece of armor that gives me uh, food saturation. Um, so we're on top of our mob farm. I thought I'd show what it's like down in here because I haven't... I didn't do that before. Uh, so it's pretty simple. It's just uh, a big circle with fans blowing towards the center. Uh, and they're they're at the correct distance so that it pushes you off. Very nice and easy. That's what we've got going on there. And uh, it's working really well. I don't know if I could definitely expand it, add more layers. I don't know if I will, though. Um, anyways, today I have lots of quests to work on. Let's drop down into the water. And I actually, I accidentally um, opened or uh, did, I claimed a quest. That's the word. I claimed a quest already. I went and uh, got all the dye seeds, did a bunch of uh, breeding. I also tried to make some perfect seeds. I kind of gave up after a while because it just took too long. Uh, I really wanted to make perfect seeds and then breed them together for the new seeds and then make, make those perfect seeds. Uh, when you breed like 10, 10, 10s together... Uh, like mutate two different plants together, you usually get five, five, fives. Uh, I think pretty much every single time it was a five, five, five. Uh, so then you have to make those 10, 10, 10s. And I just kind of gave up um, and just start breeding stuff together. I figure anything that we use a lot of, we can make 10, 10, 10s and use those. Um, so I already claimed that we got a quarter heart and a chance cube. And I believe, yes, we have three quarters heart right there. So another life. That should be life five. Very nice. So that quest opened up all of these quests. And to do these, to grow these uh, these mystical flower seeds, you need Podzol. Uh, so, and to get Podzol, we need spruce uh, leaves. You can make Podzol with spruce leaves and dirt. And so I went and sifted a bunch of dirt over here, and we have one spruce seed, one whole spruce seed. This thing, by the way, has been doing very well. Uh, I have been, it's been sifting a lot of gravel. Um, obviously, just the way that it's set up, uh, it does tons and tons of gravel and not quite as much of the sand and the dust, because one third of the, the gravel or the cobblestone that gets uh, hammered goes to this sieve and then w only one third goes down that way and then it gets split into thirds again to go down here to the dust so we're getting tons of, of broken ores I actually I've been using this hammerer uh, made a bunch of the broken ore into gravel and I've been hammering that and then I take all of this crushed ore and combine that into stacks um, or into the the sand was it yeah iron ore sand combine that all up and then just stick it back in there and that will hammer down into dust and then we can smelt the dust I'm getting so much iron <laughs> and there's tons of other ores here as well to process I I might have to set something up just to honestly I'm getting so much I could just send these to a furnace uh, just a normal furnace uh, and smelt them up, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about how I want to do that. But I've upgraded a lot of my storage here, upgraded to diamond chests here, and I've upgraded all of my drawers over here to emerald. So that is very nice. We're getting a lot more items, uh, a lot more capacity in our system. I added another platform out here too. This is my tree growing platform because uh, I was using up tons of wood with the agricraft stuff. So now I have lots, <laughs> 27,000 oak wood right there. That is very nice to have. Uh, let's see, I have my crook right here. I got some bone meal. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't need bone meal because stuff just grows fast. Uh, so let's grab the leaves here and grab this wood. Uh, oh, I'm going to need some iron because I actually need to grab uh, need to make some shears But let's grow up some wood here Get some saplings Will those grow? Oh, that's right. We have the mega spruce saplings. I, I almost forgot about or I did forget about those All right, I grabbed some leaves from those trees. So to make pod soul, we just have to do that There we go. We got eight pod soul eight pod soul and Let's see. I think 
the to get all of these we need this mystical uh white flower seed and also that looks like that opens up all of the botania stuff i'm assuming that these are all botania flowers botania flowers um so we can uh make that uh which is a white tulip seed and a daisy seed so if we take uh white tulip and daisy and we need some uh crop sticks then we can let's see let's do uh that's not what i want why did i do that put that back do that <laughs> uh let's replace this one with pod soul and that one there there and there and then uh the crop seeds whoop crop sticks there we go uh so we'll have crop sticks going like this make a little checkerboard pattern uh, and then we'll put a daisy seed there and white tulip seed there i had another white tulip let's put that there and then that should be ready to go uh let's get some bone meal and let's get some clippers these things are pretty neat uh, i've been using them a little bit uh, with these we can clip uh the plants and it'll give you these little uh uh, clippings and when you use that it has a chance to plant another uh, flower or another plant um, it's not a hundred percent unless you have like 10 10 10 seeds so then we'll grow these up so now that all has a chance to to mutate and we have five different spots where that can mutate to so that's lovely we'll let that go and look at all these cows. <laughs> there are so many cows. Some of these are very, very nice. Uh, so I have tons of buckets over here. Uh, liquefacted coal. You are kind of useful. Molten nickel. Yes. Molten invar. I love you. <laughs> Sewage. You're not very useful. You know what I do with uh, useless cows? Um, <laughs> I don't want to attack these guys because they, they have a, a pack mentality. If I attack one, they'll all be angry with me. One of my favorite ways to kill animals though. Let's stick a portal up there. And you're the sewage? Goodbye. <laughs> uh, so he just fell and died over there, if you didn't see. Lava, you're not super useful. It'd be a lot more fun to murder you. So let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> and dead. <laughs> uh, I learned how to get rid of the portals too. You just have to hit R. I remembered how to do that. Seared stone, you are also not super useful. Um, I don't need that much seared stone. Let's just kind of knock you in without going in ourselves. Uh, molten lead. I like you. Let's grab some molten lead. Uh, anybody else? You're the invar. Um, so there's a cooldown. You can see current cooldown 2700 ticks. So we have to wait that long before we can milk them again uh, for their liquid. Uh, molten shiny. Yes. Very useful. Molten Invar again. Got another one of those. I know we have a few more cows just kind of hanging out. Oh, we got some drops from uh, from those cows. Uh, what are you? Glowstone. You are kind of useful. I think. Ooh. Although that's not what I thought it was. That's from Extra Planets. I don't know what that's used for. Um, I was thinking it was the, uh, the Energize Glowstone or whatever from thermal expansion and what about you liquid nitrogen that might be useful i don't really know so we're just gonna murder you right there <laughs> and boom dead very nice uh was there any other cows i'm not entirely sure um but then yeah what i've been doing with the liquids is any metals that we have like the shiny uh the nickel we got some invar uh these i put a tank here so we can just pour it in there and that will go right into our smeltery. And we got another bucket of Invar. And then um, I do have, let's see, what's in here? This is Blazing Pyrothium. We must have lost the Blazing py Pyrothium cow. It's possible that he, he died somewhere. Uh, I did have some Blazing Pyrothium though and I made a tank here. This is a mechanism tank. It's the only big tank that I can make uh, that I saw at the moment. All the other ones required like steel or something else. And now that we have all these cows around here, we are getting some leather. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I need. There is a quest. That's not how to do it. How do you do it? Uh, there's a quest 
uh, that's like in the beginning, alpha, right here, uh, a traveler's glove, it's like that, okay, so like that, there we go. Um, so I think this, you can put it in this slot, you can add redstone to it and it makes you like dig faster with your hands. I don't really break anything with my hands, so I don't, it's not super useful. But uh, still kind of cool, and that opens or that um that uh, completes a quest. So let's choose a reward, and we got another quarter heart. That's awesome. Let's put this stuff away. Try not to remember or to forget it this time. Um, so we have that. We also we could do this sieving montage stuff. I made a bunch of this topiary grass, uh, and s put it in our sieve over here. Uh, so we have a bunch of these fruit trees and we also have some berry bushes. So if I grab that, that's complete. And then I just need to make some more of that topiary grass. Let's see, we need, we're gonna need some lapis. Uh, I should have enough dirt. We just need to make six of each. And then red dye we should have over here. So to make the topiary grass, you need seeds. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's any type of seeds. Uh, let's grab some of these bad seeds here <laughs> that we don't need. Uh, we'll do this. And this is probably going to take longer than it needs to. Oh, that makes eight. Okay, that's that's good then. So we do that. Now we got 16. That's going to be enough. So we need six of this blue grass. Yeah, it's actually called blue grass. Lovely. Uh, and then we need six of this... Uh, Autumnal grass, the red grass. I've never actually uh, checked out this stuff. I don't know if that's any good. And claim reward. We got a loot bag and a chance cube. Very nice. Let's put all these seeds away. Ah, uh, looks like we've gotten our mystical white flower seeds. Uh, I think that's all we had to do for that quest. Oh, stop opening that up. Where are we? There we go. Uh, so we got that claim reward. Oh, it just gives us a. Uh, Chance Echosahedron. Okay, so now that we've done that, that uh, unlocks Magical Botania. Uh, we're not going to get into that today. I've never played with Botania. It looks very strange, but I think that might be kind of a fun, fun uh, quest or a fun uh, mod to play around with, especially with the quests. Um, so then we also have all of these. Uh, all of these are just a bunch of breeding. Uh, kind of like the dye seeds were, I think, do we start out with this one? No, <laughs> it kind of looks like maybe blue, blue might be first. Uh, whoops, where did I go? Go here and, uh, so yeah, Allium and Blue Orchid. Uh, we can start out with that. Well, I started this breeding and, oh, that's actually already done. Uh, so we got another quest done here. Uh, right there, and that just gives you the chance, Icosahedron. Uh, is that what all those are going to give you? Great. <laughs> um, so I'll set up the next one later. That's something I'm just going to do off camera. Uh, there is another one here in the in the beta, though, French toast that we can work on. Uh, we need some cinnamon toast, uh, sugar, and firm tofu. That's why I have all these so soybeans here. I think I have everything except for the cinnamon. And these we can just right click with bone meal. Uh, so let's get some of this. And that's seven. Let's give it some more. Run around. That should be enough. 15. I think I have some already. But let's just make sure we grab that. I think we need 16 sandwiches. Uh, and then let's check out uses for this. No. <laughs> uh, and a kern. Do we need a kern? Or can we can we make the the stuff elsewhere? Um, let's see. R. Okay, we can use a mortar and pestle. That's what I was thinking. Uh, so we can go and turn that into ground cinnamon. Let's see, I have the mortar and pestle, and we'll need the skillet. So turn that all into ground cinnamon, and then I have firm tofu here. We have sugar. Right here. I don't know why I'm grabbing so much. And toast. So I think these are not shapeless recipes. 
but I'm pretty sure it's like that. Oh, and, uh, oh shoot, I need one more firm tofu. <laughs> Not quite enough. Uh, but there's 15 French toast. And there we go, another firm tofu. Firm tofu, you, uh, you put soybeans in this presser and that will give you uh, soy milk. And then you put it in the presser again, which will give you the silken tofu. And then you put it in the presser again, and that will give you firm tofu. Soybeans are amazing because uh, it kind of just replaces uh, a bunch of stuff. Like the, uh, well, I think they changed it now. The firm tofu replaces like eggs. Uh, it used to be the firm tofu replaced like all meats, which was really nice. Um, but I think they nerfed it because it was a little, it was a little OP in certain situations. All right, so we got that. Can claim that reward. Very nice claim, awesome. And then uh, that opens up this epic bacon, which takes, is that just any kind of dye as well as cooked pork chop? Oh, it also is, uh, looks like it's firm tofu as well. Well, I have all the dyes I'd need except for one, the cactus dye. So I'm assuming this has to be on sand. There we go and grow that up. Uh, and then let's right click it. Awesome. So we got cactus dye. We just need the one for this, I think. Actually, I suppose I should look. Oh, we need four of them. Now I have four of everything. So let's look this up. Uh, what was it? Epic bacon. Epic bacon. And there we go. Four epic bacons. Boom. Claim reward. Half a heart for that. Ooh, that is nice. Uh, ooh. What is this? Diamond carrots? That <laughs> 20 carat carrots? How do you make that? Oh, you need you need uh, carrot carrot seeds. So you need like diamond carrot seeds. Okay, very interesting, something I can work on. <laughs> now we need to uh, start trying to make our way to the nether. Um, to do that, obviously we need a portal. Uh, and prob probably need flint and steel. Uh, but in this pack, or at least with uh, Kappa modes, flint and steel is made with steel. And uh, one way to make steel is with a blast furnace, um, which is down here. We cannot do that <laughs> until we go to the nether. We need nether brick for that. So we're going to have to find another way to make steel. I think I know how. Um, but eventually we are going to need a, a coke oven for our eventual blacksmith or not blacksmith or blast furnace that's what i wanted to say uh and so we can make we can do this quest here uh, i think it was like this or was the bricks in the corner all right so we got 28 of those very good and that should open up that quest uh and then we could start making some uh, some coal coke. Uh, we also have treated wood planks. We need 24 of them. So we don't have enough cre- Oh, we do have. They did give us just enough. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, do I not have enough planks there? Let's do that. Because uh, I believe the treated wood is like that. I looked it up. So that gives us 24. They gave us just enough oil. Oh, you need 64. No, never mind. For some reason, I was thinking we had- we only needed 24. All right, so for that, we're going to need a, a Coke oven. Um, for a Coke oven, you do something like this. I'm going to set it up here temporarily because I don't know exactly where I want to put this stuff yet. I actually, I want to move, uh, I think pretty soon, I'm going to redo some of these platforms and move some stuff around. Uh, mainly, I want to move that over by the smeltery since that's giving us a bunch of ores uh, and probably make the platform bigger so I have more room for storage. Also, I think it'd be kind of a pain to move all this stuff, but I think I'm going to do it. I want to move these uh, a little bit closer to each other. Right now I have 11 blocks in between each uh, platform and I think I might move that down to like seven. I think seven would be a good number. Although I wonder if that would work with like that. Is that not going to be enough room there? I'll have to look at it. But uh, things are a little bit sp too spread out. It's kind of annoying to run around. Um, so yeah, pretty soon I'd like to go through and try and figure out 
exactly how I want to do everything. Now that I've I've actually uh, you know been living here and been working around this area, so let's grab some coal. Uh, I think you can do blocks of coal. I'll just stick a stack of coal in there. I honestly don't know. I've never used a coke oven. So I'm not sure exactly how this works. Do we just put it in there and then that will that will start uh, making the coal coke? And that should start making some creosote oil as well. So let's see. And coal coke and a little bit of creosote oil. Fantastic. Uh, back to the whole steel thing and how we actually make that <laughs> so that we can go to the nether and then make a black fur blast furnace to make steel. Uh, if we look up steel, there's many different kinds. Dark steel, we need an induction smelter or an alloy smelter. I didn't actually... I haven't looked at an alloy smelter. Alloy. Uh, that's this thing. And that takes a QED. Yeah, that's what I figured. So we also have, we have this steel, which is probably closer to the one that we want. Uh, Tinker's Construct Steel, and there's a bunch of stuff with alloy smelters, induction smelter, uh, blast furnace, <laughs> we can make it in there. Uh, here we got a smeltery, so we can smelt down steel stuff. Whoop. Um, oh no, that's magma crucible. Uh, so we have the smeltery alloying, here we go, this is what we want. Uh, so you need liquefacted coal and molten iron. Uh, but I've heard that if you just put iron and coal in there, uh, it's not going to work. I do have, I have some liquefacted coal. Um, I wonder if this will work. Yeah, let's, let's do this. We're going to do it over in this smeltery just so I don't break anything by accident. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's disconnect that and put that back there. Uh, and then let's, well, I think if we do that, it'll be fine. We'll put this liquefacted coal in there. That should have gone into there. And if we put some iron in there, which I guess I could actually just suck this back. Uh, let's turn that off and suck that back into there. So we have some iron and, oh, that made steel. Okay. Okay, I think this is what they were talking about. So... To actually make the liquefacted coal, uh, I pulverized some coal in my grinder. Um, and if you put it in here, it seems to be smelting. I don't know if it'll finish, but it's super slow, super, super slow. Uh, and so what they were saying is that if you use uh, blazing pyrothium, it will work. So let's take this lava out of here. And I have one bucket of blazing pyrothium here. Um, I could, I think you can make blazing pyrothium or you can melt down the blazing pyrothium in here. Uh, I don't know if that's going to do it. It might be kind of confused because of all the lava in here. Let's break these so it stops getting lava. <laughs> that would probably make this a little bit easier. Whoop, uh, I'm going backwards. And now it's not a full bucket there. Oh, come on. <laughs> There we go. And is that, I think it's still using the lava. Uh, I wonder, I could probably break this one. Let's get something to replace it just in case uh, right away. Do I have any tanks in here? No, of course I don't. I just have, I do have this one that's full of lava. Let's take the lava out of there. And that's not a full one. Dang it. <laughs> I keep getting just small amounts of lava in there. Okay, there we go. So I, I put the empty tank on the second layer. Now it's it's registering the blazing pyrothium and it's smelting. It's still pretty slow though. I'm kind of surprised, but it, it's going. Well, I got all that coal melted, so we got 13 ingots of molten steel now. I wanted to get more than 9 so I could just make a, a block here. Uh, there we go, and I suppose that's going to get pulled out right away into there. Awesome. Uh, and then that's going to get screwed up. Let's do that. I'll have to get a, a casting table over here to pull out the rest. But we have our steel. Uh, let's go get a flint 
so that we can do this this dumb little quest. <laughs> uh, flint, steel, boom, flint and steel. And we will claim that reward. Boom, awesome, we got a compact giant's chance, giant chance cube and reward bag. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, next episode, maybe we'll head into the nether and get some nethery things. Uh, there is, we'll probably just check out the nether and just gather a bunch of resources. There's a lot of quests that depend on the nether. Uh, we're gonna need nether brick, some nether ores, uh, lots of different things. So let's check out these uh, reward bags before we end off the episode. We got more walruses, yes. <laughs> Xanite ring increases mining speed, okay. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, is that from uh, uh, the Aether? Yeah, the Aether mod. That's up here, Asha. Cool, all right. Uh, we got some aluminum wire, crap reward. <laughs> uh, transfer node, liquid, one. Okay, that's <laughs> not super useful. Infinity tool rod. Ooh, cosmic, unbreakable, durability modifier ti 10 times. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so we can make a tool out of that. Ooh, what tool do I want to make out of that? I wonder, can you even make this? Um, no, not, I hit R, didn't I? R. Oh, you need, uh, <laughs> you need extreme crafting and a bunch of infinity ingots. Wow. That is an awesome reward then. Nice. Uh, why is all my stuff messed up? Uh, let's open this up. Uh, laser focus. Uh, okay, I don't know what those are for. Mine factory reloaded. That must be for the mining laser then. Okay, don't know exactly what that does, but sounds kind of interesting. Anyways, cool rewards. Hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of Project Ozone. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, peoples. <laughs>